Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back with another video. I thought it's been so long, but it really hasn't, but I'm back. Um, today I'm going to do just kind of my everyday simple makeup and just kind of chat through it because we love a little heart to heart, don't we? My makeup isn't anything extra or anything out there. It's literally just a bit of eyeshadow, some eyelashes and foundation and off we go. Um... I am filming a misguided clothing haul today, so I need to get ready for that, so that will probably be up before this video. I don't know, it depends which one I edit first. So I can't wait to film that, and you know, you need to look cute for it, so I might do a little something extra. And we're just going to get straight into it. I've already done my eyebrows, because as you guys know, I don't like doing my eyebrows on camera. I just, like literally my eyebrows took me 30 minutes today, and... I feel like they're not even, they're still not perfect. I'm going to do my eyeshadow, but I don't really know what to do. I feel like my eyeshadow, I don't really like pinky colours, but every time I do my eyeshadow, it turns out pink. So, great. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a liner. I'm not feeling a liner today. By the way, guys, do you love these pillows? Like, do you love it or do you love it? Like, I love it. It's just so nice. Like, they were £8 for Matalan for 2 two for eight pounds they had like these other ones that were big as well and they were bigger but they weren't as soft as these ones and they were like eight seven to eight pounds for one and i was like i saw this so i was like i'm buying that straight away i'm so happy i got it so as always i'm using my tarte shape tape concealer i'm still from my last time i did a makeup video and i was running out i am still scraping off the bottom of this tube um, but I have ordered a new one. I'm just waiting for. It for uh, I'm just waiting for it to come, um, because it's like an American website. I it was taking so long. I think I ordered it like three, four days ago already. And usually I expect it to be here. And the fact that it's not here, my tube is still giving me a little something. It shows a lot. Just tapping it on. Oh, bye bye guys, you love my nails. I feel so cute when I do my nails. But it's so hard to do my makeup. So since I'm waiting for my misguided order to come, I ordered it yesterday. I've had it in my basket for a few days now and I only ordered it yesterday. I've just realised... Sorry, pause. Pause. Guys, could you guys not tell me that there was eyebrow pencil at the bottom here? No, no, no. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I ordered it. <clears throat> I ordered my clothes from Miscardage yesterday. Um, I did next day delivery for some reason I doing free next day delivery. I don't know why. Um, so I got the email this morning saying that it's on its way. So there's. Some, I bet you, during this video, they could have knocked this whole morning or after, but they're gonna knock while I'm filming this, how much you guys want to bet, it's just going to happen, I can already tell. <sighs> I found this in my sister's downstairs in my sister's makeup drawer, so let's hope she doesn't watch this video. It's the Morphe X Jack and Hill palette, and I'm just going to use the shade, uh, I'm going to use the shade Secure, yeah, let's use that one. And I'm just going to put that there. Oh, this is nice. I feel like I told myself that I wouldn't do any more makeup videos um, because I just feel like the way I do my makeup and the way everyone else does their makeup is so different and I feel like when I do it on myself if it doesn't turn out well I'm just kind of like uh, like no one's going to look up close and personal like when I'm out and about but I feel like when I do it on camera you can really see what goes wrong and I just feel like like for example I filmed a video I think it was last month or the month before um, Desi Perkins did a makeup video and I wanted to recreate that look and let me tell you I couldn't even post it like I can't I can't post it it was just not something you want to watch or that I want to edit so I literally just put it on my computer I literally watched a second of it and I was like delete I literally deleted it straight away but I mean it'll happen it'll happen because I'm such a perfectionist, so if, it, if there's a little, like, slightest thing 
that I don't like in one of my videos, I won't post it. And that's fine. I'm just going to learn the hard way. Like, I feel like when I watch back on this one, I hope that there's not going to be something where I'm like, ugh, disgusting. But this is my, like, everyday kind of makeup look. Like, I just do simple. But obviously, I'm going to glam it up a bit. Well, not glam it up, but make it look a bit, you know, saucy for when I film my clothing haul. So, by the way, guys, let me know how your New Year's has been so far. You know, what's been going on? What's the gossip? I feel like I... In terms of my YouTube channel, I feel like I want to post more, but I'm just so, like, I'm just so stuck on, like, filming ideas. I really want to film more, like, workout videos, just because I feel like there's, there aren't many workout YouTubers out there. Like, there's a lot of makeup gurus, but there's not a lot of workout gurus. I want to become a workout guru, you know? But obviously it's a bit harder because... The gym I go to is hard to film just because there's so many people all the time and I'd have to go really like super late and on top of that I got this camera so I'd want to take this camera with me but it's massive so I don't know but I might try I might like I did with the Chrissy Seller video um, I might recreate one of those workout gurus workout like the at home workout and see you know if it gets those glutes working and I do want to start sharing because obviously I'm kind of going on a weight gain journey and I really want to share it with you guys but I just want to be more comfortable in my body before I start sharing it with you guys okay I've been blending this for way too long but I feel like there's not enough colour there And it's like, it's like the same, I feel like on YouTube there's a lot of YouTubers who share their um, weight loss journey but there's not people out there who share their weight gain journey and I'm on that weight gain journey which some people kind of like, oh, like what, what, like, huh, come again? But yeah, I'm trying to gain weight, you know, get a little bit thick and it's hard, it's very hard, <laughs> I must say so myself. But we're gonna get there. I have already taken like photos, like I am, um, like taking photographs of my body so that later on, if my there is a difference in my body, that I can show you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna see if I'm gonna start posting those on Instagram. Like, let me look, let me know. Would you rather I do it on YouTube or share it with you on Instagram? Just cause let me know but guys it's basically when I started the gym I was really scared like I'll probably do a video on this in the future but I'll just talk about it now as well I was really scared to start the gym um just because it's an intimidating place like if you go to the gym you know that it's really intimidating like for example my gym is you have like a section like it's sectioned off so you have the section with like the running machines and like the cardio machines and stuff like that and then you have the weight section with all the heavy weights where you do squats and all your heavy lifting stuff and in that section is full of men and when I first started I remember I went with Eric and oh my god I'm, I don't think I've ever been that scared in my life like I was so scared walking through that because everyone looks at you and I was like oh my god well here's the thing you feel like everyone's looking at you but really and truly they're not looking at you like you just feel like because there's so many people and there's only men like you feel like they're all looking at you but they're not and it took me some time to get over that and I was too scared to work out I wouldn't push myself because I'd be too scared that someone's looking you know when I would struggle I would just stop because I'd be like oh my god someone's looking at me I can't struggle um Wait, I need to go into a different colour before I start talking again. I think I'm going to go with in the same palette and go to Smooth Criminal, which is that one. Um, so yeah, when I started off, like, I had no clue what I was doing. And, like, I, I didn't like going to the gym. Like, I didn't enjoy going to the gym. Um, and it took some time. It took a lot of time before I really got comfortable with going to the gym.
So I'm just going to put that on the outer crease part. I'm not going to go here. I'm just going to go there. Um, so yeah, back to what I was saying. Back then I was really insecure about like... When I say insecure, like, I was so insecure about my body. Like, I was very, very slim. Like, skin to the bone. Like, I was very skinny. And I, I, don't, like, I don't like using that word just because I feel like skinny is like... I just feel like that word's not nice. So I just like to say slim. Like, I was really slim. And um, I thought going to a gym, I would um, try to work on my muscle. Like, gain some muscle. And, you know, hit squats. I went to the gym to kind of see if I could gain some muscle um, and let me tell you like I couldn't even like I couldn't squat the bar like the bar itself it's so obviously you know when you do squats the bar the bar weighs 20 kg on its own and I couldn't even do that. Let me tell you that now. I couldn't squat the damn bar. I really, really struggled. Like, I, I thought some... To me, that was normal. I was like, oh, I'm lifting, like, 20 kg. The bar's like, okay, okay. And then... To my surprise, who would have known that today? I can squat 100 kg. Your girl can squat 100 kg. I just, like to me, that's happiness, that's happiness in a bowl. I just never thought that I'd be able to do that. I feel like if I couldn't, could barely squat the bar and now I can squat 100 kg, anyone can do it, literally anyone. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. And I learned that the hard way because I really didn't push myself in the beginning, like, Eric hated it, Eric hated, because obviously Eric, like, he really values the gym, like, his, the gym is, like, his second home, as is for me now, but back in the day, I hated it, like, if he was at this good gym, I was like, Ugh. Ugh. like, really, really and truly, I don't want to go, and now, now, nowadays, the only reason I won't go is because obviously I've got uni and if I've got something due in the next day, I'll be like, no, I need to do it. That's the only reason why I miss the gym. Like this week, I have had my coursework, um, well, I have my coursework during tomorrow and the past week I've been literally on that, like I've been focused on that. So I haven't been able to go to the gym, so obviously I need to prioritise my education. But now I'm done with it, I finished it last night, even though it's during tomorrow. I finished it yesterday morning actually and it's during tomorrow, like that, I deserve a medal. But anyways, I'm so happy I'm done that. So obviously that's the reason I haven't been going this week, but then tonight we're going, so I'm excited. Um, so yeah. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else to my eyelids, I'm just keeping it simple. So yeah, now when people stare at me in the gym, I'm just kind of like, can I help you? Are you okay? But usually I'm with Eric, like, well, I'm always with Eric when I go to the gym. Um, so if someone stares at me, I kind of tell Eric and then Eric stares them up, you know, just... <laughs> but I feel like... Mm, but when I was when I used to go to the gym before by myself, I'd go off school and um, at the beginning I couldn't do it. Like, I was really scared to go by myself and people would always stare at me. So I decided that I'd wear a cap and some people are like, oh, why do people wear hats to the gym? I don't wear it to had myself in the lighting like I wore it because I felt like it covered like my view so I wouldn't see people like, and it wouldn't get to me I just kind of ignore everything and I worked out so much better because wearing a cap I'd just be looking down and I wouldn't look at anyone and my workouts would be so much better because I just blocked out everyone and cracked on I think that's a hack that's a gym hack if you don't feel good or comfortable with the gym get yourself a hat or a cap and block out the haters <laughs> Block up the I don't know if I should put some glitter off or I should just leave it the way it is. I might leave it the way it is and add some eyelashes. Yeah, that's a shout. Okay. Just because I don't like going all out. I just See, this is what I mean. It's pinky and I didn't want that look, but I went for that look. So. Okay, I'm going to go into my foundation. I've already moisturised my face. 
Um, I'm going in with the usual, my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Um, I'm going to try blend it with a sponge, just because I always blend it with a brush. Why have I been doing it with a brush this whole time? Oh my gosh, I realized I just covered the whole camera. It's actually really nice with a beauty blender. I'm just going to put some Vaseline on my lips just while... I do the rest. My lips are just so dry. Like I can't walk around without Vaseline in my in my pocket. Although that was just the Vaseline uh, cocoa butter. It's really good. So I'm just gonna put some concealer on. Scrape it through my bottle as usual. Then we're going to blend that out. Guys, I actually can't wait till, win um, till winter, till summer comes. Like, I'm just so sick of this weather. And the weather at the moment isn't at its full peak yet. Like, it's going to get colder and it's going to start snowing. And I'm just not here for it, to be honest. I really don't like the cold. But to be honest, I'm actually a hypocrite because when it was hot, like when it was boiling hot in the summer, I was complaining about how I want winter. Why is the lighting gone down? So yeah, I was complaining in the winter about how I wanted summer to... No, I was com complaining in the summer about how I wanted winter. Um, and I'm just actually a hypocrite, like fully hypocrite. Because now... I don't want winter here, I want summer back. And I feel like that's the case with everyone, we always get one and then we don't want it, we want the other. I just want to start wearing cute outfits again and look cute, you know. I've had enough of this cold and making my nose all runny and my hands getting all dry because it's freezing cold. Like my skin gets really bad in the, sum in the winter, sorry. I get really bad eczema on my hands, particularly on my hands, um, and it's really bad, like, let's not even address it. So I found these um, lashes just out and about in my house. I think my sister gave it to me a while ago because she didn't want them, and I mean, I don't, I'm not sure about the shape of them. I need to put some mascara on, I'm just using this thick and fast one that my sister gave me. I'm not really sure who's by. Oh, Soap and Glory. Um, I'm just going to put a bit of that. I feel like this academic year hasn't gone, like, it's going too quick. Like, if I think about it, it's already January. Like, it's almost February. And then I've got till March, April, May-ish. So around three months left. I've got three months left of my third year, first year of uni. What the hell? I feel like me graduating is around the corner like sorry to be dramatic but that's how it feels like but obviously like exam season's coming soon you know so just want to wish you guys good luck you know study hard it'll be worth it in the end but just know there's always an alternative if education doesn't work out don't forget that I feel like when I was in school no one really told us that like everyone was like if you don't get the grades you're not going to get into uni you're not going to get a good job but you can, right? Me personally, obviously I'm at uni so I want to get my degree but I know people who haven't gone to uni and are doing great still so Okay, so I'm back and I'll put my lashes on I mean, <laughs> it's a bit of a hot mess So yeah, that'll do for now because I cannot be bothered Okay, so I'm going to move on to bronzer I'm using the one I always use and it's the MAC Dark Deepest Shade by the way guys, what did I tell you, as I'm filming this video, but obviously like they knocked when I was putting my eyelashes on, which was even worse because my eyelashes were drying out and, but it's okay, it's okay. Oh 
I literally spend so long blending out my bronzer just because I'd hate like sometimes I see people and it's just a line like there's a nice line where people like contour it but then there's that line where it's like a big chunk like a big blob and I'm so self-conscious that my bronzer looks like that so that's why I always spend time just you know buff, buffing that in like, you've got nothing to lose so just blend it in I'm really hoping that my misguided order comes on time um like not too late just because literally no one's home and I can film this in peace and on top of that I feel like if they didn't come now like I'm just gonna have a nap and that's just really not practical right now I'm gonna go on to my highlighter So as you guys know, I like to like draw a few freckles on. I feel like I feel like just doing that brings out like your makeup look a lot more. So we're gonna do that. I'm, in the previous video I did when I did my makeup, I oh my god, these eyelashes. That's why I don't wear eyelashes, guys, because they're just so annoying and. I they just have to come out of place but you know what I don't even care so this is literally me on a daily basis so if something doesn't go right I'm just like whatever I'm leaving it see you later bye have fun have a good day um but anyway back to what I was saying as my eyelashes really interrupted me I in my previous video I did it with eyeshadow but I'm gonna do it with my eyebrow pencil which I use for my eyebrows and it's literally just a benefit one um because I feel like it gives the same effect So when I like just blob it on, I just really like pat it on, just so it looks natural and it doesn't look like I've actually drawn it on. Even though people kind of you know know that I've drawn it on, but you know we don't need to tell them that. They can just figure out for themselves. And then of course I have to go on to draw a bit more, you know. I feel like this is a GCR, GCSER all over again. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna get my eyeliner and just you know bring out my beauty marks again because we all love our beauty marks because they're just so beautiful cute and I just let that dry a bit so I can just pat it again because I don't want to look like I've gone and took a whiteboard marker and blob that on my face now on to the lips I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do okay I think I'm going to do what I usually do and just get a um, darker lip liner and go and fill it in with a lighter colour Wow, that took a lot of concentration to say that. That was a mouthful. And um, the reason why I always use it is the NYX um, matte lip liner in the colour Cold Brew. Wow, that's not a nice sight. <coughs> that is not a nice sight. And I'm just going with a light, light colour. Um, oh, wait, that's not the one. I'm going in with a lighter colour, and this one's in a shade. Dainty days. How cute. I don't know if I should gloss it up. Should I put gloss? Then I'm going to put gloss. So now I'm just going to use my NYX lip oil, if you want to say. Just looks like this. Okay, so before I forget, I need to put some colour underneath my eyes, and I am going to go in, I think I'm going to go with a very light colour, I'm going to go in with this one, from the Huda Beauty palette. I feel like when you get two colours that contrast, it just looks so much better, like it brings up your eyes a lot more. Like my eyes are popping now. Just going back with the mascara that I used earlier and just putting it on my lower lashes. And voila! That's 
is done. Like, what do you guys think? This is just literally my basic kind of makeup look. Like, there's nothing. There's not much to it, but I like it. I feel like it's very simple. The like the eyeshadow and everything is really simple. I feel like the only hard like things that take long are like your eyebrows and like perfecting your your um perfecting your concealer and stuff like that. But it is really quick if you be quick. But you know your girl's kind of slow today, so I should wait on her misguided order. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed the video and you know liked our little chit chat. Give me all the gossip in your lives, guys, in the description below. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.